Hey there, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. Today's video is about what to do with a woman who's acting like your roommate. And it's about how to respond like a man to that instead of reacting to it. I had a guy recently I was talking to whose wife has really pulled away from him. She's gotten disinterested, detached, dismissive, and disrespectful. She's telling him to find his own life, get a life. She's developing uh, an independence and a life of her own and making friends. And she's planning out vacations and weekends ahead of time to do things without him. And he wants to be with her. He, Of course he does, right? And she's saying, no, you need to be less needy and you need to just find a life of your own. You need to be happy on your own. And of course I talk about that. I talk about the importance of a man needing to find his own happiness. But in a relationship, a, a exclusive, romantic, sexual, committed relationship, at some point there is an overlap where you two actually have a relationship. In the case where your woman is acting like a roommate and she's totally detached and trying to shame you for wanting to have affection, wanting to be present, how do you respond to that instead of reacting to it? Now what's the difference between reacting and responding? Reactions almost always come from a place of fear and insecurity. It's, it's that little boy inside of us who feels the fear of abandonment, the fear of, of being lost or being rejected and fear will always bring up a reaction that sounds very needy and very oppressive. It sounds like, oh, why, why don't you want to be with it, me anymore? Why don't you want to spend time with me? What do you get from being with your friends that you don't get with me? And what do I have to do to get you to like me? Or you'll make a veiled threat. Sounds something like, if you don't start staying home on weekends, I'm going to be very, very unhappy about that. And that's wishy-washy too. What does that mean? These are reactions that sound like threats and complaints. And it's kind of like whining. How do I know about this? Because I used to do this, right? Remember, I am you. I coach the men who are most like me. Now, how do you get out of this? How do you get into a place of having a manly, masculine response when your wife is distancing and detached and disrespecting and dismissing you? How do you get your mojo back and respond? Well, the problem with responses is that they're not snappy one-liners. A lot of guys say, well, I need something really cool to say. I need an ultimatum. I need something to get her attention. I'll tell you what will get the most attention when a woman detaches from you and, and starts getting dismissive and disrespectful is start just making statements that come from a cool, calm, confident place of well-being. So the problem is you may not be there. When you do get there, when you get to the point to where you know very, very clearly what you believe about your relationship, what you expect from yourself in that relationship, what you expect for yourself in that relationship, and where you want that relationship to go, where your life and relationship are going in the future. As soon as you get out of your head in the trauma of what might happen today, right, the, the feeling rejected today, and what might happen if I actually confront her today. If you get away from that fear, you might say things that sound more masculine. And you might say, have a good time, baby. One thing that I want from this relationship that you should know is that we do plan to spend time together. I treasure that, I value that, and it's important to me. We should talk about that when you get back. Have a good time. Period. Goodbye. It's a statement. It's not a question. It's not a request. It's not a whine. It's a statement of what you value. When you're a man who's very clear about who you are, I am a man who is strong, affectionate, caring, sensitive, and I enjoy being in relationship with women who like to be with me. That's one of my values, one of my non-negotiables. So what do I want? What do I want is I want a relationship with the woman who actually shares the value of affection and admiration and support and that we're actually adoring each other. We like to spend time. We like to plan time together and we enjoy each other's companies. We're friends, confidants, comrades, partners in crime. That's what I want. I don't just want that. I want more things from life. I have a mission of other things I'm doing, other things that make me happy. But one thing that's not negotiable for me is that if I am in relationship with a woman, married or otherwise, I want a woman who wants to be with me in the way that I want to be with her. Those are called relationship values. If your woman is showing relationship values that to go totally against everything you believe, you've got a real problem on your hand. The way you respond to it is to, is to be very honest and speak very clearly about who you are, what you want, and where you're going. You could say, I understand you're going to have vacations in Jamaica with the girls next month, but understand that my, my expectation for myself and for my life is that my partner and I make plans together. We make plans to enjoy each other. We make plans to get connected and understand each other. We have fun. We have flirtation. We have sex. We have all kinds of fun. That's my, that's my expectation. I don't begrudge you wanting to be 
uh, independent. I don't begrudge you wanting to have other friends in your life and other fun. But, but when it comes to my relationships, all you need to know is that my expectation for me is that I'm going to have the life and relationship I want. So we should talk about that. We need to, we need to work on that. So have a good time. You're not telling her what she should do. You're not making rules. You're not giving conditions or veiled threats or ultimatums. You're simply informing her who you are, what you want, and where you're going. Sometimes you can do that energetically without saying anything. She could feel it in a man's bones when he knows he's getting his mojo back, and he isn't going to stand for a relationship that's a roommate status. Believe me, she knows full well what's going on is not acceptable in the relationship. All she's doing is something to, to fill up her cups right now. She doesn't feel connected. She doesn't think you know what you want. She doesn't think you know where you're going. And she doesn't think you'll stand up for yourself. That's what I want to help you with. This is why I care so much about you because I'm talking to myself. There was a time when I didn't know who I was or what I wanted or where I was going. And I tell you, it's so liberating when you know that and you can speak your truth right off the top of your head. You don't need to remember anything because when you're honest the words come and you don't care what the consequences are. I always say when you speak from your truth and you're clear about who you are and what you want and where you're going, the consequences of a man being that honest and that open, those are the consequences that are supposed to happen. Even if you're fearing she may leave you because that she may not want what you want. The question is why would you stay with somebody who very clearly doesn't want what you want? I hope that helps you. I uh, invite you to give me a call or send me an email about your situation. I enjoy answering these questions and giving you a leg up. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.